I wanted to take a couple of minutes to tell you a little bit about our uh, product and our company. Um, I've been watching the other, the other talks in this track, and it's, uh, I think, a very interesting area. There's a lot of hardware and software coming to market, uh, and it's going to change um, a lot of things. Um, and so we're quite excited. Um, right now, if you are doing embedded deep learning, like many people here are, uh, the options from our perspective are uh, relatively poor. You can t try to take a, an external GPU and cram it into your product. Um, this doesn't work unless maybe you're um, in, a, in a military application where you're running on a tank or something like that. Um, many of the companies here are uh, um, talking about their IP cores. These can be very good solutions, but I think, as Ren pointed out, um, there are some issues uh, with these. So uh, first, if you're doing an IP core, you have to build a, an ASIC. Um, so that's a bunch of cost and risk. Uh, the IP core creates pressure on uh, the DDR memory buses that are internal to the chip. So I, I think um, if people were watching um, some of the earlier presentations, they talked a lot about memory bandwidth um, issues and memory caches. Um, and like Ren pointed out, many of these solutions are limited to one chip. Um, you're trying to keep it all on one chip. You're, you can probably afford maybe 10 watts um, if you're trying to do an embedded application uh, before you get into a lot of cooling and other mechanical issues. Uh, but the IP cores can be effective um, for, for your application if they're sized correctly. Um, they're great. Um, other people have proposed putting a sep secondary pro processor. Um, these are things like the Movidia solution. Um, what we've experienced or in talking with people is that there's the complexity of a whole second processor, has its own operating system, uh, and you still have the same problems with memory. Um, the the <clears throat> processor has to access memory just like uh, anything else, and that it adds a bunch of complexity. You have to put DDR on your board uh, and a bunch of power. 